Hello everyone! In today's tutorial I'll show you how to do this Loth's illustration using the oil pastel brushes. If you are part of Monthly Brush Club in the student or supporter tier, you can access to all the brushes I'm using within the tutorial for free. Let's start by opening the oil pastel texture paper. Remember, every time that we get like new texture papers, they open in the main gallery as a new design. Also, when using texture papers, we always, always draw in the layer underneath. The brush that I'm gonna start using for the sketch, it is the pastel tip round. I'll start drawing the tree, just position it more or less in the middle of the paper. And then for the slot, I'm gonna do two circles. One small for the head and one bigger for the bum of the, of the slot. The body is gonna look like as a beam more or less. And once you have that ready, go over and draw the legs. Draw a cross in the middle of the face, so then it's gonna be much easier to position the eyes, the nose and the mouth. There are many ways to draw the face of a sloth, but this one is the one that I like the most. I want to draw another sloth right on top, but instead of doing everything from the beginning, I'm going to duplicate the layer. Hide the layer underneath, and then with the rubber, just wrap out the tree and all the areas that I won't need. When I have this ready, just show both layers and with the layer on top, use the transformation tool and move the sloth to the position that you like. I'm going to also make the top sloth a little bit smaller, just because I think it's gonna look cuter. Don't you worry if it is too messy because our job now with the rubber, it is to make things neater. To merge both layers, just with your fingers, pinch them. And keep going, rubbing out all the parts that they overlap and with a pencil, just making everything the way that you like. This is how the drawing is looking so far, which it is fine, but I like to make it neater. So I'm gonna redraw everything. For that, just lower the opacity of the layer and in a layer on top, I'm gonna trace everything again. Ryan Little. <laughs> Finally, I'm just going to add some leaves for the background in each of the corners of the illustration. I really like how the sketch has turned out and now it's time to add some colour. But first, because I don't need the previous sketch, I'm going to just delete that layer and create a layer underneath to start adding colour. The brush that I'm gonna use is the Pastel Tip Intense and the color palette, the Sloth one, that it is included within the illustration pack. The way that I like to approach an illustration when adding color, it is to create one layer for each color that I apply. So for example, I'm gonna start with the Sloth on the top that I'm gonna color it pink. And in this layer, I'm gonna draw just this Sloth, nothing else. Following the same rule as one color, one layer, I'm gonna create a new layer to start drawing the sloth underneath. I'm gonna change my color into orange and just go over the bottom sloth. It's time to color the tree, so create a new layer right at the bottom, change your color into brown and let's draw our tree. I like to add in just less simple colors without any details first because if I want to make any changes it is much easier now than after when I've added like any shadows or lightening. Doing this is gonna also um, allow you to see how the colors, they work together and make any arrangements and changes if you need to. For the plants in the background, just create one layer for the pink plants, another layer for the orange one, and one third layer for the reddish or dark pink plants. 
One of the biggest mistakes that I used to have as a beginner it is to rely a lot on the sketch. And as you know, the sketch, eventually it will disappear of the illustration. So from the beginning, I like to hide it and start working on the edges to make sure that all of them, they look neater. The brushes that I'm gonna be using are the Pastel Tip Smooth and the Pastel Fox Soft. I'm gonna start with the Pastel Tip just to make the edges neater. And then with the Pastel Fork, I would just go over again on top just to blend them slightly. This leg of the sloth, uh, it, it is behind the tree, so I'm gonna just rub it out the part of the leg that we won't be able to see. Okay, so all the main shapes are ready, so now it is time to start adding some of the details. Because I'm gonna add a new color, same rule as before, a new layer, and using the pastel tip, I'm gonna just draw the face of the pink sloth. I want to add the colors of the eyes now, and I'm gonna create a new layer, but this time it's gonna be a clipping mask layer. Let's add one more layer right on top just to add the nose, the mouth and the eyes. I'm gonna add all these details in a darker color. And now let's repeat everything one more time with the orange sloth. One new layer for the face, another layer for the outside of the eyes and one third layer for all the black details. If you pay attention to the sketch, there are some lines within the sloth, especially around the arms, that if we hide the sketch there is no way to see them. So what I'm gonna do it is to create a new layer uh, with a darker color, for example a darker orange or with a pink sloth, a darker pink. I'm gonna go these tiny lines so I can then remove the sketch. Also something that I do just to keep things organized in my illustration when I'm starting adding too much layer, it is to group them. So I'm gonna group all the layers related to the sloth one in one group another group for the second sloth and one third group for the background and plants. I love how everything is looking, so let's add now some texture and shadows. First of all, in the texture paper, if your colors are very saturated or you don't really like how it look, you can always like change the opacity to lower or higher depending on how do you like it to be. For adding shadows into my designs, I always follow the same method. I create a clipping mask layer right on top, change the layer mode to multiply, and then here we are gonna add all the shadows. So that makes all the areas of the orange sloth that we think that they need to be darker, we are gonna add them. We are gonna emphasize especially at the areas that they are behind the sloth on top or the edges. For the light areas, I'm gonna do exactly the same, a clipping mask layer on top, but this time the layer mode, it is a screen. The areas that I'm gonna highlight are especially in the middle, not the edges. I love my dark areas to really stand out, so I'm gonna go back to my shadows layer, and with even a darker color, I'm gonna just add some more shadows in exactly the same places. One final thing that I like to add to my illustrations that I think it gave it more personality is just to add some tiny lines. So I'm gonna go back to the tea pastel tip and with a dark color first, I'm gonna just add some tiny lines following the shape of the sloth. I'm adding all of this in a brand new layer right on top using clipping mask, but you can add them in exactly the same shadow layer. For example, I'm gonna add some light lines now and instead of creating a new layer, I'm gonna reuse the layer that I used before to add the light part. 
Finally, I'm just gonna add some volume into the face, but I'm gonna just select alpha lock in the layer and with a darker color in the pastel basic brush, I'm gonna just go over the edges and then with a lighter color, I'm gonna just apply a little bit in the center. Let's repeat exactly the same, but in the pink sloth now. I'm gonna be using the pastel basic brush and let's start adding shadows. I'm gonna create a layer right on top and I'm gonna change the layer mode into multiply because I want to add the shadows in here. The pastel basic brush that I'm using to add the shadows, it is really pressure sensitive. So that means depending on the pressure that you apply, your brush is gonna apply more or less color. The way that I use it, it is to press really hard on the edges and then softer when I'm getting into the center of the, of the sloth. Let's now create a new layer on top using clipping mask. Let's change the layer mode into screen and let's start adding the lightning. Same as before, I will add some lines in the, in the middle of the sloth. I'm gonna add the dark lines in the shadow layer and the light lines in the light layer. Just follow the shape of the sloth so they will look a little bit like hairs. Finally, for adding some shadows around the face, let's activate alpha lock first. And with the pastel basic, I'm gonna just add some dark areas on the edges of the face. For the background, I'm gonna show you how do I do some of the leaves and then we will repeat the process with all of the rest of them. This time, I'm gonna use just one layer for each element. So I'm gonna activate alpha lock. With the pastel basic brush, I'm gonna add a light color right in the center. Then I'm gonna change my color to a darker tone of the same one and just go over the edges. Keep in mind those two colors because we are gonna keep using the dark and the light one. I'm gonna draw a line in the middle of the leaf and I'm gonna do the same line now with the light color. Now all I'm gonna do with the same light color is draw some lines around the leaf. And I'm gonna repeat the same process but with the darker color that we used before. The process for this type of leaves, it is similar. I'm just gonna take a darker color and go this time in the middle. And with the lighter color, I'm gonna go around the edges. Then with the thin brush, I'm gonna draw just a little line in each of the leaf and just add some tiny lines around. And I'm gonna repeat the same process, but with the light color. It is super simple. Just keep doing the process with all the rest of the leaf and just remember that the key it is to select the three colors, the base, the darker one, and the lighter one. We're nearly finished now, which is great. Now the final thing it is the tree. So I'm gonna select alpha lock, and we're gonna do exactly the same to add some volume. Let's take the pastel basic and add some light areas around the center. Now just create a layer on top using clipping mask and change it to screen. Pick up a beige or light yellow color and the pastel tip smooth and let's draw some of the lines that imitate the texture of the tree. If you like hearts as much as me, just draw a couple hearts just to show some love. And for the background, just create a layer right at the bottom. I'm gonna make my background really um, subtle but just with different uh, tones of like pinks or orange, I'm gonna go around I do this in a very um, careless way. I love the final result and I would love to see if you do it. So please tag us at School of Illustration if you follow the tutorial. And remember, if you subscribe to Monte Brush Club in the supporter tier, you can access to all the brushes I'm using for free. And if you subscribe to the student tier as well as the brushes, you will get my feedback on the illustration with some tips about how to improve it. Just go to the description box to find out all the information. Bye bye and thank you.